control. That's zero time. Marines, a lot of the time, call it Zulu. Z-U-L-U, Zulu time. The word you have to look at is U-T-C, Universal Time Code. We looked up in Texas because we are 90 degrees from zero. There's 360 degrees around the world, so put that in your head. We're at 97 degrees around the world from zero time. Therefore, in a day, there's 360 degrees in 24 hours. Therefore, we are six hours, so it's easy for us. We're six hours from London. So if you want to talk to somebody and they say UCC, you just have to decide if you're going to add it or subtract it. Okay? So the problem comes in daylight saving time. So if I tell you we're going to be on TV, we're going to be <coughs> last night, we did a program on TV for all oh, what? What we're trying to do for this is gather a gathering, and then we want people in our time zone, which we can see on the map. I have their email addresses, and most of my professors are in the astronomy. But from Mexico, or from Chicago, to Texas, to Mexico City, to Panama, to Colombia, to Chile, and Argentina. That's our time zone. So it's easy to get them online. It's not so easy to get France online if I wanted them to be part of this. What they do, if they do that type of session, and we do that, is they usually start at zero time, and then they'll go around, they'll get somebody all over. I've been on two of them with France from Texas here. So they take, every hour, they take a different part of the world. So again, what you have to do in astronomy is start to move out of this world that you're in. Okay, you have to move out of Killeen. You've got to now move up here into this big space. We teach the moon because it's big, it's bright, most people like it, and it's available almost every day. Therefore, if you want to start learning all these innuendos that go with this kind of math, this kind of physics, the moon's a good start. But it is not what we call deep sky. It is not astronomy today. So most astronomers don't even like the moon because it causes them not to be able to see. So I have two books I brought where two men, one is from Yugoslavia, spent his whole life studying the moon, and he wrote a book, and he's dead now. So he set the standard for the world in naming the moon. Okay. The other one, you'll see a little telescope out there. Did you bring it in? Mm -hmm. I bring a telescope over. Oh, you mean bring it inside? It's Reeves. Okay. And these people make money. Made this little telescope, and buy it for $60. And they wrapped it around with uh, the cosmos on there and his name on there. So I just listened to him give a two-hour session over the internet. So now I can sit at home and I can learn from the majority of the good professors in the world if I can get to them and find out when. Okay. So what I want to do is introduce you also to 3D printing. All these are 3D printers. She has a 3D printer here. The young people need to learn how to use it. The old world that I use it, that I grew up, Huckleberry Finn, probably most of you don't know him, but they show him with a piece of wood, whittling with a knife. Those days are gone. That's the old world. That's the manufacturing world. You take something, you cut it up and cut it up and cut it up so it's so big and very fine and throw everything else away. Yeah. This has got that guy, is named after him, Reeves. This is a Dobson telescope. That's the simplest telescope there is. Nothing but a tube, you say, and a stand. Okay. However, 
That's the old days. So, I like all the kids come up here who got the little, uh, and get in a line. And I need one more bite. Floor, you're in the sky, and everything's different. So think about it now. If you're in a spaceship going up to the moon, when you see the North Star, which you might see tonight, up there, you're going to say that's north. Right? You see it. You know it. You learn it. You got a map. However, when you move up to the moon, that North Star ain't going to look the same. Your sky is totally different. So what you use is what we call spectroscopy, spectrometer. A computer program is going to look at that and say, this is where I am in space. Just like I can do, take a computer vision program, look at his face, and a few years ago, I could get his name. Now, supposedly, you can't do that. But a lot of people did that with Facebook. It was a, then I could look at her, and it would tell me her name. Because you take a, what was called a fingerprint. You take 70 points here, you would put that in an algorithm, and it says, OK, that's what it is. And with AI being here, most of you understand what AI is or what's coming. AI is just like you and I. It learns every year. It learns more and more. So if you think about my world, a radiologist would say that probably the first guy is going to be put out of work by AI. But if you look at a chest ray and you look at one, then you look at 10,000, then you look at 1 million. This is how the doctor trains. He reads that X-ray. But pretty soon, this is now all done digital. The computer will do what his eyes do. My drone, not this one, but the drone that we've got that Alex out here, just as a matter of interest, which you'll meet, has got all three radio licenses, ham radio license, level one, level two, level three. Most adults and clean can't make three. Hardly any make two. Most of them make one. He got them when he was 12 years old, all three of them. He's also now, thanks to KISD, a commercial drone pilot. He's got a license to make money flying drones. Most teachers can't do that, science teachers today. So what we're trying to do is start to get these concepts in their mind to start thinking about what's happening in school. When they learn math, why do I need to learn what the North Star is? Well, you need to learn it because if you're in, in the Army, you're going to put you in the mountains in Colorado and say, follow this map and find out. And we got snakes in, and this was California. And if you don't make it there by 11 o'clock, this is night uh, uh, land navigation, they start blowing the horns and lighting the things, and they hope they can find you in the mountains. Well, so I'm saying, this becomes very real. That's his daughter, Elisa, who's now going to be in Kuwait who's in the Army, so she went through land navigation. Our ROTC students are going through land navigation. They're not going to go through celestial navigation for whatever reason. 
So anyway, should you find north? Huh? Uh, yes. yes. Well, our north, our north. Pull, pull that, so that's your marker. Make that north. Okay, you want to make this north? Okay, wait, wait. Let's go over the moon first. Okay, where's the new? This up here, that long strip, is the North Pole. That's coal. There you go. It's called Frigoris in Latin, coal. Okay, so then we have the equator <coughs> through here. North, south. Northern hemisphere, south. So. This is north. This here guy is down near the south. So it will go somewhat like this. So that's good. Okay, okay that so good? now we're going to divide this. So, and we can't do that. I'm sorry. For, forget what I said there. Uh, oh, no. We can, but I, I can't for the teaching. Again, this is where we're in a two dimensional world. That was the other thing I'm talking about. Our children are growing up in a three-dimensional world. They're growing up in this, 3D printing. We used to use crayons, okay, when I was in kindergarten. Then we went from 2D to 3D. Then we went to miniaturization, which means it's so fine your eyes can't see. This is a 3D printed ring. I can touch that to your iPhone and tell you my email address. Dr. Kai, you told me to tell you about the time, so we're, it's almost time for us to go outside. What time is it? It's almost time for us to go outside, okay. and we need to well, get let's to the Lay down so. some of these. I'm going right. to lay this guy down. This is us. Okay. Whoa. Tipped over. <laughs> Hopefully, next one. I'm going to be better. Oh, I'll man. tip over, but the that Japanese tipped right. over. The Chinese are down under here. Uh, on that side? Okay. okay. So, where are we going to put us? Where do we go? Um, I think we should go on the bumpy side. You want us to go on a bumpy side? Because yeah. yeah. okay. maybe, okay. maybe we might okay. land in a spot and look at one of those and, points. And it's full of rocks and it's around yeah. us and then, so on each then we won't tip over. over. That little guy you got yeah. where we had a man on the moon. All right, let's see if we can put a guy. The numbers, on. Apollo 11. Through Apollo 17. So let's have the we're gonna, we're gonna go land on the moon. Let's go first. land on the moon here. All right. Apollo 11 was the first one. That's Anybody else need a man one? on the moon. You got it. Apollo 17 was the last one. I want the okay. astronaut. Then we had 13. We bombed yeah. out. We didn't make it to the moon. Where would that be on here? Can you find it? Okay. I had this here on Apollo 11. All right. Because this is another thing. Right. At least I pick up that white block. Okay, I'll pick up the white block. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna go right here. Okay, everybody, let's let's all. Why don't we get on our knees? Down. Everybody, get on your knees so that we can get ready to put their men on the moon. That okay. is 3D printed from a file from NASA. Okay. All right. Let's see. Where do you want to go? Let's go. I want to go off. here. Let's that see. is the train, exactly the way it is. It's right there on the site at eleven. Really? Let's, I want to go. Okay. okay well. So we can see the craters. The All right, let's put them on here. The I want my. The moon full of where? seas. Over there. These black pots. They call them marina because they, again they use a lot of land. Excuse me. Green. I want to do it okay. over so, here. Okay. This go is the Mars. Okay, then we had tranquility where we landed 11. So somebody put down 11. Okay, right here, someone here. Okay, no, no, just one. Just one. Okay. okay. Now look at your thing. Somebody find 12. Find 12. Can we find 12? Okay, Put it where it should be. So, this is the picture. Okay. Thirteen. They almost died in. They made a movie about it. Oh, that was a good movie. Yeah, Thirteen. Where's thirteen? Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen is close to twelve. Okay, so we're gonna it's be over here. Okay, we cut time short. Let's find seventeen. Oh, right. <laughs> so 
17 this is, is interesting. Of four, four, 17 four, is the last one. You like this? Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Okay. That's right. Okay. One of the pilots on 17, his name was Aiken. That's okay. Aiken, A I K E N. Interesting enough, on the far side of the moon, that is where the Chinese landed. On the far side? It's named after an American astronaut who was in Apollo 17. It's very interesting to me that China would pick that. And what did they do when they left? Anybody? They left a Chinese flag on them. Mm. Now that should tell you something, you parents. They left a Chinese flag. So the only two flags on the moon right now is an American flag and Chinese. All right. So wait a minute. Any questions? Any questions? You have any questions about the moon and landing on the moon? The moon. Where's your question? The moon okay. the Take all the little men. And the sun covered the moon. Just remember here. Yeah, moon covered the sun. They tipped over. The moon covered the sun. That's very right. important. You are right. During the eclipse, right? We don't want to tip over for the next time. Awesome. Next time it's going to have a yes. man and a woman in it. How many moons will it take to fill up Earth? Yeah. How many moons will it take to fill up Earth? Let's take all of them. I do. I do. How many moons? It's one moon. One moon. One moon. One moon. Oh, there is one moon, and there's one Earth. And then, and so, I know there's far, I think the... She's going to get some. Put them back on the table. There's one fourth this size. I'm going to wrap it. It's a lot bigger than it looks, right? It's a lot bigger than it looks, for sure. I think her hands are full. <laughs> can I help you? You can help. I bet so. Oh, we're in honey. Let the I want to help too. Hey, that's my okay. sister. Okay. Okay, so we're going to... Just listen to her close now. She's got it. She wants to help, too. One of the problems with astronomy you is it's done in the dark. Uh -oh. So we kind of have to wait. The moon just happens that you can find the moon during the day. Yeah. But you can't really see it the way we want to see it during the day. I want to put this. Or, I'm going to go there. Let me see, which, where would you go? Where would you go? Okay, so listen. I, I want to go there. Me too. What about you? I want to try. I want to try. Last STEM session I gave two Sundays ago. Hey, I don't Oh, great. I've got a big following. I've got 11,000 people following. So get on our website. Get the and so I was uh, thinking that we probably need to let everybody know. I, I think they're ready. I think they're ready up there. I'll find out. Also, now is a great time for us to take bathroom breaks. I've got more water if we need to get more water out. We have sandwiches. Everybody gets sandwiches. We